Hey you guys, welcome to the Blending with Henry show. My name is Henry and we're finally approaching the end of this crazy year. And because of this crazy year, many of us are preparing meals at home. Now what better universal food to create than pizza? So today we're making homemade personal pizzas. And let's face it you guys, we all like to share a pizza, but most of us end up fighting for the last piece. So personal pizzas are the best and I'm going to show you how to make them fast and easy. So let's get started. It all starts with the Vitamix food processor attachment. I've been able to do so much more with it. Now lately I've been receiving emails from you guys asking me for tips on grating cheese with the food processor attachment. And since this is a piece of show, it's most appropriate of course, right? So dairy is out of my life though, but my family found out I was making pieces so they insisted I do cheese. When it comes to grating cheese in the food processor, you guys, it's a mixed bag on which cheeses will grate easily. Now, after doing some testing, I found out the simple answer. All you really need is firm cheese. Now, cheddar is generally firm right out of the store, but it's always a good idea to give it a little squeeze for firmness. Now, mozzarella is often sold fresh, so it's very soft, and the best way to firm it up is to place it in the freezer for two to four hours. Now, you're not freezing it, you're just making it firm. Here's a tip for you guys. I highly recommend you vacuum seal your cheeses, whether you freeze them or keep them in the refrigerator. Now like this cheddar, it will last in the refrigerator over six months without getting hard on the edges or going bad. All right, I'm using a large shred disc and I'm gonna shred this block of cheddar. Perfectly shredded cheddar. Now again you guys, this is from a firm block, so I didn't need to put it in the freezer. Using the same large shred disc, I'm shredding the mozzarella block right from the freezer. Ah, the shreds are just perfect and it's a very creamy cheese. Now if you guys leave the mozzarella in the freezer too long, just let it sit out until it softens but it's still firm. Now if you shred it while it's still a solid block, it will be crumbly. Tomatoes can also be a challenge. Now when shopping for tomatoes, you guys, get the firmest you can find. Now I always use Roma tomatoes for salsas because of their firmness. Now for this I'm using a large sliced disc. Alright, you can see the Roma tomato slice perfectly. When it comes to pizza toppings, you guys, you can use whatever you like, but I love red bell peppers, so I'm slicing this with the large slice disc. Next is zucchini, one of my favorite green veggies. Now obviously you can tell at this point I'm making a veggie pizza, okay? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm using the large slice disc. <laughs> Lastly, I'm chopping a red onion. Now it always adds a nice subtle flavor to the pizza. Now for this I'm using the large shred disc. Now if you use the small shred disc, it will liquefy the onion. Wow. 
All right, you guys, I've laid out all the veggies cut up from the Vitamix food processor attachment. From left to right is our sliced zucchini, then sliced tomatoes, chopped red onion, and sliced red bell pepper. I really like what the food processor attachment can do. Okay, you guys, I've got my homemade pizza crust here that I made in the Vitamix food processor attachment, and I showed you guys in the last video how I created the dough using the multi-purpose blade and made a delicious Italian artisan bread. So it's very easy. So now I'm going to apply the pizza sauce first, and yes, I did create the sauce on the food processor attachment. Now I'm going to add it to both pizza crusts. And you guys don't have to be perfect with this. It's homemade. I mean, as long as it tastes good, right? Okay. <laughs> Next, I'm adding the blended up vegan Italian spice blend. All in one jar, you get garlic, spices, peppers, and there's no GMO or MSG. Ah, the cheese. The cheese. The cheese. And guess what? The cheese. <laughs> Next are the sliced red bell peppers, and they have a nice color to the pizza. Now the chopped red onion. Now the Roma tomato slices. And now the zucchini slices. And of course, we're going to top it off with more of the shredded mozzarella and cheddar cheeses. Now, here's a tip for you guys. Just so the veggies will show, don't overly top it off with the cheeses. This way, it'll be obvious it's a veggie pizza. And now I'm going to garnish the pizzas with more of the blended up Italian spice blend. And lastly, I'm drizzling the pizzas with olive oil. Okay, you guys, the pizzas are ready to bake. Now I'm baking them on a pizza stone, so I've preheated the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm baking for 10 minutes. Check this out. The kitchen smells amazingly great of Italian spices and garlic. I wish you guys were here to try this. But I've got my fam bam here on the sidelines waiting with their mouths watering. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to do a final garnish of fresh basil. Now always top your pieces with basil after baking. Let's cut these pizzas up in slices. Oh man, you guys, the crust is nice and crispy. Now I recommend you guys grab one of these rocker pizza cutters. Much easier and effective than traditional pizza roller wheels. All right, let's take a look at this. Ah, yes, the cheese is stringy. And look at this crust, perfectly golden brown. This is because I used a pizza stone rather than baking on a cookie sheet. I'm about to get trampled over from the onlookers wanting a slice of this. Now, I just want to share with you guys a nice idea for a fun meal to make at home. Now, I would like to give a shout out to one of my biggest supporters, Jay Litzy, and several others for requesting the cheese test with the Vitamix food processor attachment. If you have a Vitamix Ascent or Adventurous machine, you gotta grab one of these. All right, you guys, thank you so much. I hope the video helped you. Check out the links below the video for some amazing Vitamix promos or on BlendingWithHenry.com and the Blended Up Vegan Italian Spice Blend. It's really that good. See you soon.